Like, I remember my grandmother spending a weekend with her uh, and my grandfather, and she took us to the video store and she picked out a couple movies for us. One of them was uh, Some Like It Hot and the other one was Bye Bye Birdie. And I was 12 years old at the time, but I fell in love with those movies and I fell in love with the idea of old movies. And then that kind of led me down the rabbit hole of like learning about um, Turner Classic Movies, uh, film criticism, reading people like Roger Ebert, Pauline Kael. And I've kind of like merged all of that and eventually turned that into my, you know, studying that in, in college and in uh, grad school, and then kind of found my way to writing about and talking about film and TV and music and movies and everything in between. Um, and so my first gig um, as a professional writer was as an intern at Slate, uh, magazine um, while I was still just about to finish up my graduate degree at, at NYU. And I was lucky enough to be able to sort of parlay that into a full-time job at Slade. And, and then, you know, long story short, now I'm here making podcasts and, and writing a book and, and just really getting, being able to like live out my dream of uh, turning all of those many hours of watching movies and watching TV, like glued in front of the TV screen, being able to turn that into an actual career. Um, and it's, I'm very, very lucky and very happy to be able to do that. That's a whole bar right there, turning that <laughs> actual career. No, as someone who, who is, was born in LA, but raised in the Midwest, you know, Midwesterners are nothing if not practical. And I don't mm. know that living and, and and surviving and flourishing in the world of the creative is anything that ever came up in conversation, even in my household. So to hear you articulate the same generation, generationally, there's a, a, a gap between us, uh, speaks to the prevalence of that, um, that that still has not made its way into the mainstream, that it really is doctors, engineers, lawyers that we're supposed to become. So I, I laud and applaud the fact that you stay true to your 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 internal compass because that is not always easy to do 